here from GuitarZoom.com. And in this one little video, I'd like to show you a couple of techniques that are used in country as well as kind of almost bluegrass, right? One of the things is, um, and I actually just got back from East Tennessee, um, and I spent some time in the Smoky Mountains, and one of the things that I noticed, especially with the street musicians there, uh, especially I was in Gatlinburg for a while, and um, I noticed that, you know, the thing that's interesting about the guitar is that it's a lot of times they'll be playing with like a bassist with an upright bass or a fiddle um, or they'll have an acoustic bass and this bass this acoustic bass is uh, you know obviously playing the bass line so the bass line might be something like something like that right well a lot of times what you can do is you can take the guitar, you don't have a basis, and you can kind of make it have its own bass line. And that's the whole kind of purpose of this little tune that I'm teaching you here, is to teach you how to, you know, use some simple chords to create a bass line. Sometimes it's called a walking bass, which is kind of a technical classical term, but um, essentially what you're doing is you're just, you know, you can hear it is, sorry. And then when you add the chords in, And then the top strings, what you're kind of doing is just, you know, it's almost like a reel, like a Celtic reel or something. But it's. And what you're really doing is you're grabbing the bass notes with all kind of like downstrokes. And on those top strings, really I'm just really trying to hit every single string I'm just kind of grabbing the top two maybe the top three on my down and up strokes especially in the up strokes I'm really just kind of grabbing maybe the top string or the top two as my bass line moves along okay so that's kind of the concept and this is a kind of a classic little chord progression in the key of G That would be a one because in the key of G, G is the one chord. The C chord would be, of course, your four chord. D7 or D is your five chord, and back to one. So, this is a classic one, four, five, one chord progression, which chord progressions are kind of another conversation altogether. But, you know, th what I'm teaching you here is a simple picking pattern that yum, ba da dum, ba da dum, ba da 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 ba da dum, ba da dum, ba ba, in rhythmic pattern as well as creating that bass line. So if you'd like to learn that kind of little bluegrass thing there that may you know, spark your interest and move off into that direction into some serious bluegrass and blues and country, then just check out the link in this video and I'll happily give you the recording of that as well as the tab. So you'll know the picking pattern, you'll have all the tab there for you. And then you can take it and make up your own or go learn some other songs. Thanks so much, I'm Dan Denley from guitarzoom.com. Thanks for watching.